which one, Pika? All of them are. Okay, so let me, hey, Chico. Uh, Jones was doing a live stream, the back and forth with all of the people and then what's going on with everybody over there. I, I'm tapped out. I'm just tapped out. Sorry, it is what it is. Um, hey, Lynn, love and light. I'm feeling a, still another weather. Hey, Janice in accounting, but not enough to not talk my shit. So, hey, Hartley. Uh, let me start here by explaining a little bit of what's currently going on. I'm not going to play your stream because she gets real uppity about that and she might even still be live. I don't care. So what's happening current time is Clue is hosting a live stream. No problem. I don't fuck with them. You know, it is what it is. But Clue, Stephen Crabtree, and Truth are on this live stream. And they are talking about supposed emails that supposedly Stephen Crabtree and Clue have seen. Supposedly, these emails, they're not showing them. Now, they're not, again, just for a full clarification, they are not showing the emails. They are saying that they have seen these emails from Seth to facilities that they were looking into potentially for Sebastian before he went missing. Okay. Not sure. Well, how they got these emails. Um, anyways. But they are talking about hypotheticals and they're going back and forth about these emails. So first and foremost, let me be very upfront. I have no idea about these emails, none of my business, because again, law enforcement will be the ones that look into all of this stuff and I'm sure they have been involved in this. Well, during this conversation and this back and forth between Clue and Stephen Crabtree, which sorry, but they both put out quite a bit of misinformation at this point in time. So unless the emails are presented, I'm not gonna really take it for what it, there's nothing there, okay? So we have heard Seth speak about that Sebastian was supposed to come live with him a year previously, and he gave him a year to get his behaviors in check. I don't think anybody is shocked that there was some things that they were trying to, as a family, work through. I don't think anybody's shocked by that. I don't think anybody should be shocked by that. That is why the possibilities are wide open as far as what happened. But again, people are so narrow visioned here and tunneled in on certain things and they can't get past that. Kids struggle. That's a pretty typical thing. And if they were looking into, again, I have to say if, because I, there's no proof, they're not showing any proof of these said emails. So if there were emails between him looking into facilities, I'm not gonna fault him for that. If your kid is struggling and you are looking for options to best benefit him, I'm not gonna fault you for doing what you can to protect your child and do what's best for them. Now, supposedly they're claiming that this happened in November before he went missing. Again, all of this, there's no confirmation, okay? But now Crime Time Buzz has gone and ran with this narrative. So we're gonna get into that. But this started with Clue. Let me be very transparent. This is starting with Clue Minotti and Stephen Crabtree. Let's make no fucking qualms about this. Now they're even rewriting the fact that, oh no, they went to a neighbor's home and spoke to the neighbor that Sebastian was supposedly under their car. And it was Sebastian. But we were pretty much flat out told, I'm pretty sure, Duchess, if you're in here still, that that wasn't Sebastian under the car. So why again are the rewrites happening? It is what it is. This is why I leave all of these details to law enforcement. But if you're not gonna show proof of these things, why are we just creating new narratives and painting things? Everybody I think is well aware, Sebastian was having some issues and difficulties. He was obviously struggling. They were all, in my opinion, all three of them trying to do what they could and figure out what was the best. There was a lot of tension, a lot of animosity from bad divorces and all this other stuff. But now we're taking salacious bits from one side to the other and throwing shit out here and creating narratives. Okay, look, nobody's perfect. These situations aren't perfect. But to even put that out there, like dangling it over people's heads, if it's a legit licensed facility, they would absolutely have to report that Sebastian is there. There would be a money trail, people. Yeah, Hartley, exactly. You you think that they're going to... No, they didn't show him. They're not saying. This, again, this is where I'm saying, like, the same thing that's happening on this side is happening there. Yeah, exactly, Duchess, exactly. Hold on. I'll play her audio. I'll play her audio. This is all under fair use. She knows how this works. Just so you guys can verify where it's coming from. Oh, you don't have your Yeah. Good deal. Hold on. Guarantee it. I'll just play this one section. Wrong. And yeah, before you answer that, let me find out. Hold on, I want to know what y'all talking about. Y'all can't just talk about this. Not always with this. So there was an email where Sean had had communication and conversation with a school 
for children in Missouri, Texas, and Utah. Again, she is not showing the email. She is not showing the email. Like, you've seen the, the email and it's verified that it's his or a rumor of? Yeah. Truth asks her. You've seen the email. You verified that it's his. She nods her head, says, yeah. Now, let me be truthful on this. I'm not angry with truth in this whole situation whatsoever, because truth is like, what are you talking about here? You may give me headphones. What kind, of, what kind of school is it? I'm going to give him headphones real quick, guys. Okay. Like a... She just gave me... I think the focus would, would have probably been on... And we can still hear you, Stephen, just so you know your mic is still on. No. And a boys, a boys school. Okay. In particular, thanks, thanks for that. A, a boys' school in particular. Now, again, I have no problems with parents looking into whatever facilities they need to for the best interest of their child if their child is experiencing things and having behaviors. I am fully a part of that. Hold on just a moment. Okay, my kid has OCD and she has decided to take out everything in my living room and organize it in bags, and I'm about ready to lose my shit. So there's that. Okay. A boys' school. Okay, so is it like a. Like, okay, like a, a preparatory school type thing or like a school for specifically autism? There you go. Yeah. Behavior. It's kind of both, actually. Yeah. It's like a prep slash a school specifically built towards autism. So Stephen Crabtree is saying it's a, you know, specifically geared towards autism. This is Clue and Stephen Crabtree telling truth. Truth is the one asking questions like, uh. Behavior. But, not, but it's not, it is behavior issues as well? Yes. Yeah, and um, one of the things I'll say is, and, uh, Katie was actually, she was super highly against it because, I mean, one, it's traveling. I mean, she had said verbatim. Stephen Crabtree says Katie was highly against it. I mean, even if you're looking at the email stuff, it's like she, she wasn't on, she not on board. It's like, no, I'm not going to be, you know, hours away from him if something happened. She said, according to Stephen, no, she's not going to be hours away from him. Again, they're not showing no email. Let me be very clear. This is where the source of this information that Crime Time and Buzz is now running with is coming from, is Clue and Stephen Crabtree. I needed to verify that and back it all the way up here so people didn't think I was just going after Crime Time Buzz. No, this is where it's starting, is Clue and Stephen Crabtree. And how many times have they passed off misinformation? Quite a few. It's not Especially when there is one in Columbia, Tennessee. Yeah. So, so... What you're saying is Seth contacted this program or these programs, and in return, they con contacted Katie because she's, I'm assuming, the mom? No, it was, a, it was a discussion with all parties. Okay. So they all three talked about it. Mm -hmm. Blue is saying that all three parents talked about this, which I'm not shocked by. I don't think anybody would be shocked by. You know, we know from Seth's own words and other people's words that Sebastian was struggling with some things. If they were looking into facilities, that's great. Wonderful. Okay. Why are we doing this now? Why are we trying to like release stuff? Why not just release the emails if we're going to do that shit, right? Duchess, I I think they're just dangling shit and hoping people will you know take shit and run with it. But we know whose idea it was. That would be Sean. So it was it was his idea, but they supposedly it was Seth's idea. All said, so it wasn't a secret. They all no. sat down and talked about it. No, it wasn't right. a secret. And how long before Sebastian went missing is this allegedly to have happened? Three months. She says it was three months before he went missing. Again, time frame would make sense. I don't have any problem with them looking into facilities. Again, I'm going to continue to say that because if that's what was needed or what they thought, you know, would help Sebastian or whatever, I, I'm not there. So I'm not going to judge that. But here we go. Why now? So back in December. Yes. So wasn't there a thing that wasn't there a, something said at some point about something happening in December that kind of was a breaking point? Well, like it, would have, ago. it would have actually been November, December, January, February. Yeah. So months it would have been ago. November. It's still close enough. Okay. Like a year ago from now. Right, right. I just put, put from like when he went, went missing I, I, is what I'm getting at. So now that was only three, three months, months before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then. After Hold on, I can't. Sorry, I can't text. I'm playing After this off this my phone. I'm assuming they, they <laughs> decided not to do it. And then Seth was then given 
summer like given you know summer with sebastian is that i mean is that how it was, was summer already planned i think he always had summer yeah so i think the I think the situation was that, you know, it was discussed about the, the So Cleus comes in and says, I think I think the situation was a school like that is an option. And that the decision was that no a school like that could be an option. He's gonna go live with Seth. But they decided no, he's gonna go live with Seth. That's not verbatim. It's a massive difference, moment. right? Like Seth's house and, and being homeschooled and being in a preparatory program, right? If it's a legit program, then my question would be Nope, not today. Yep. You remember, yeah. And he also, when he was on, you know, Seth's team, he also said he had this meeting with law enforcement and saw all these things too. And then we've also had Clue on panels with Barbecue Lady who said that those pants, you know, were Sebastian's. They were just sizes too small, you know, shit like that. I just don't understand what any of this is doing. How is this helping find Sebastian besides painting narratives against pirates? How, how is any of this helping? Because now we've got Clue and her crew out here doing this, right? And again, I don't fault the parents for doing whatever they needed to for the best interest of Sebastian. That's not it. Autumn, I am really contested. Let me Wouldn't it be in his best interest to be in a program that, if it is a, you know, uh, recognized program, wouldn't that be a better option if that's the kind of help yes, true. that you need? I'm, I'm not understanding. Yes, true. You're right on track. I agree with Truth in this one. Um, why the choice would be made not to go with that program? Would it be cost or would it just be they didn't want to do it? So the cost of the program was, what, $10,000 a month, everything included. I don't give a shit saying outlaw. If you're a PI and you're looking for a minor child, we're not out here playing games about making narratives about the parents. That's been my biggest gripe about the other side of things. Doing it to Chris and Katie, I'm going to gripe when they're doing it to Seth too. How is this helping find Sebastian? I don't think any of them are involved in the disappearance. There was obviously things going on. But when you have people out here releasing salacious information that have put out purposeful misinformation in the past, tell me how this is helpful. It's not. And I'm for anybody that's wondering, I'm not a huge SF fan, so there's probably that too. I'm not in the hype bubble of oh yay yeah great he's pushing back for the parents i appreciate that but he has made some really really uh bold statements without any facts to back him up either there's that sounds about that's that's actually not as expensive as i was thinking well i mean uh, you know i'm just saying with, with a good gofundme it's very likely from chris and katie it very is likely from chris and katie but if that's the case why are they releasing it to them why aren't they just coming out and talking about it See, I, I'm not cool with any of the games being played on any any part. That's why I don't. I think Katie wants her son home. I, I don't think the game playing would probably be something she would do. Well, it's the cheapest, right? Yeah, Four hundred. Here's my here's my question with that. There's obviously conversations happening somewhere that either they're getting leaked or they're getting intentionally leaked for narratives. You tell me. I don't know. Is if they had already been in contact, I'm assuming with Katie, right? Then. Because I mean, you're not going to be able to do anything without both parents. If the only thing about said email is supposedly it's from Seth to a facility. He put the child in there, then Katie would have to be notified, right? Yep. He wouldn't be allowed to just put the child in there without Katie having authorization and sign off. I mean, there's insurance, there's money, there's medical releases, there's forms of the wazoo. Like, this is a whole bigger process than, he, yep, just handing him off cash payments. Nope, that's not how the shit works. Sorry. From a parent that has had a kid in a facility. You would think. Like if, if not like that. They're notifying her, talking to her, and the beginning stages of looking into it. Like it wasn't her it, again. It wasn't her in the conversation. So was it uh, Seth and Chris? No, it was him and the place. Please, yeah. He so he reached out to the place and had already done all this right. stuff. So Seth had reached out to the facility and had already been doing research on it, according to Stephen Crabtree. Yep. Okay, okay, when he brought it to them, he, so basically he right. had done research, which is what anybody would have done. There's right. no big deal on that. Right. Okay. But but I was, was an option I'm going to show you where this turns. I'm going to show you where this turned, okay? These are discussions. I'm sure the family is discussing all of the possibilities. I'm sure their heads are racked trying to figure out where Sebastian is, what happened to Sebastian. I'm sure there's a lot that we don't know that we don't even need to know. Law enforcement needs to know that information. But the fact of it is, is all this does is cause what you're going about to see. Because this right here, something about this you're going to see blow up into the next segment of misinformation. It was brought up. Correct. He did it with every location. So he had like a cost breakdown. So it's like 10 grand for this. 5,400, I think, was the cheapest we heard. So I'm sorry. I, I, don't, don't, like sounds, I don't like the games. And I don't like the optics of any of this. Optically speaking, it looks pretty fucking messy, if I'm being honest. Very reason, not, not the price. I understand the price is high. What I'm saying is to, to give your child. First of all, is it a cash pay only facility or is it? 
insurance. There's that. There's also grants for a lot of these programs. An opportunity to assist. You also have to have a doctor's referral for a lot of these places and testing and everything, all your medical records, everything sent over so they can even look and see if there would be a potential fit. There's a lot to this. Terry, right? Right. Terry, you know what I, yeah. Saying, I, my, my problem isn't, I think you're missing what I'm, my problem is here. Is this discussion outwardly with no proof turned into what I'm about to show you? You reprogram out of certain things, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but you know, working through some things. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, it's none of our business what Sebastian was going through. I, I'm going to be very clear on that. I, I find this to be so disrespectful to Sebastian in general, because obviously the kid was struggling with some things. That's pretty typical. But to have a teenager by random strangers, his background dissected and what he could potentially be going through and all this stuff is super disrespectful. I'm sorry. It is what it is. The, why would the choice be thrown to the side and ultimately be decided that he's just going to go with Seth? That doesn't so to me, it sounds like Seth was trying to be, I mean, listen, yeah, here, I'll put it the way it sounds to me, you know, your opinion. That sounds like Seth's trying to be a good father and get his son some help that he might need. That's, Shit, that's was, was he going to pay half the bill? Yeah, he went on. No, I, I mean, it's a thing. If it's in the best interest of your child, who cares, who cares who's paying? You do whatever is in the best interest. It's not a fight over fucking money. Sorry. I don't, I'm not talking okay, about the money, off. right? I'm talking about he obviously did all the research in order to find out. Now, he went to them with the answers, right? I was literally going off of what y'all are yeah. saying right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like this, so, but, you know. so you, I, see, I see what you're saying, yes. But the problem is, preface this to earlier in a, a year. They gave, he messed up. So he was supposed to have already moved over there and gotten his school ready. Yep. He failed. He waited until last second, the day of registration, or day after registration. And Katie said, too bad. So are they taking information? Are they, are they, being given this information to come out and publicly discuss? Are they being fed this and said, go run with this narrative and have this discussion publicly? Because there's, again, no proof of this email. Or are they being told this in confidence and using it to turn it into a discussion? You tell me. Yeah, that's truth. Truth is, truth is the one that's pushing back. Beach, it's yep. not changing. He's there. And they said, look, we're going we're, we're gonna to give you another chance, essentially. You need to have, you have one year. To and we've heard Seth say out of his own mouth on the labs panel that he was giving Sebastian another year to get his behaviors under control, and then they would try it again. We've already heard that. With all the answers, everything so that we need option? to satisfy Katie, if you do not, then it is what it is. So that's why you get him now messaging, sending the emails with everything, trying to figure out how to help him. So Seth was, according to Stephen Tra Crabtree, trying to figure out how to help his son. Okay. And again, I have to say, like these narratives that everybody is painting and what this turns into, you're going to be pissed. I'm the only one that feels like often. Truth was pushing back. Right? Uh, no. Well, so I do want, hold on. I do want to highlight that it wasn't just Seth, Sean, doing the research on these places. Hence the reason they found the one in Columbia, right? Correct. Yeah, that's true. Katie, okay. Katie wanted him to be close. You know what I mean? And as a mom, so if it was, so if it was close, so if, it was clo if, if it was close, she would have agreed to it. I mean, I can't speak. So, so right. yeah, like I'm doing. Like so, yeah. yeah. So they're saying that Katie might have been in agreement if it was closer. They can't speak for her, but they're assuming so. Okay, so then it wasn't about the money at all. It was about the distance, is what you're saying. No, correct. Probably. That's what I think, too. Okay. But again, you know, we're like speaking for someone, right? Mm. Like that's right. Mm. This is in, in mm -hmm. theory, right? But I understand y'all don't have the direct answers. I just, I apologize. I don't mean to sound like, you know, uh, an asshole or anything. That's just something that goes out of the left field. And it makes it makes sense to the fact that parents would be working together to try to cohesively yep. figure out a solution for Sebastian. Yep. And that leads me to a point of where how did we go from obviously three parents yep. doing research, talking to each other, you know, whatever, to Sebastian's missing and they can't search with each other together. Right. right. That's such a oh, yeah. massive separation. A hundred percent. And I will say this. Like I remember meeting Sean for the first time. And he, like, he had an agenda. I don't care. Take me to fucking court. He had an agenda. And his agenda... Scott Free, you need to stick it up your ass if you think Betty's doing shit. ...was to make it look like Chris was this, like, controlling monster who, like, would never let him talk to Katie, et cetera, et cetera. Ma'am, you at first were targeting the parents also, driving by their house, saying that they harmed their kid. You were right alongside Seth doing the same, so, uh, save the bullshit. Yeah. Could not be further from the right. truth. No, they went riding around. Him, him and his mom went riding around on the motorcycle together all the time. Duchess, listen to this part. They went and done 
him and his mom was actually close and uh like the like the neighbor truth did you hear about the car incident so no we found out legitimately he was hiding under that vehicle so we went to and talked to the neighbor uh the house that was said to be they went and talked to the neighbor the house that it was said to be he come on the porch talk to us he said it wasn't him it was his son's girlfriend he was hiding up under the car they both scared each other they, he took off around the house he went to the house to so now they're saying once again that it was sebastian under the car that the daughter or, hold on let me back that up legitimately he was hiding under that vehicle so we went to and talked to the neighbor uh the house that was said to be he come on the porch talk to us he said it wasn't him it was his son's girlfriend it was they talked to the neighbor and it was the neighbor's son's girlfriend who found sebastian supposedly under the car they scared each other sebastian went running back to his house that is what they are saying it was the neighbor's son's girlfriend supposedly he was hiding up under the car they both scared each other they, he took off around the house he went to the house the neighbor then went to the house to, you know inform the parents but to inform was, the parents to inform the parents that sebastian but how many times have we heard that sebastian wasn't an eloper wasn't hiding under cars sebastian was there and sebastian had a rule when he got home he was not allowed to leave the house until katie got home or you know go outside anything like that and then come to find out he had been going outside the whole time come to find out he'd been going outside the whole time so they went to the neighbor's house and spoke to him. And now there's this email and all this stuff, but I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so this starts with Clue. Just making sure everybody knows where we're starting on this. 